Hello and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I am, as usual, with my two wonderful, wonderful friends, April and Laura. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> that was high pitch. Uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Practicing for Rena. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, I can't remember. Oh, yes, we met Mystica last time, didn't we? Oh, we did. Or as she's known when she's not in costume, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have unread mail and we can call someone. Oh, it's thir I think we always can call someone on a Thursday. Mm. All right, so. Thursday's the day to use the phone. Yeah, there is so much instability in the systems. Uh, somebody want to read us? Laura. Digger. The database needs more work than I expected. Obviously, you're not really obligated to help me, but some seriously bad stuff is going to happen if you don't. <laughs> Talk about giving you a choice. The new yeah. management is cutting back on the funding for my department. But you got that contract under the founders, so they have to pay you on those terms if you do the work. Please, I'm desperate here. Not just because it's my job in the line, but because it's going to be terrible for everyone. The depositors too. Oh, oh, no. I'm right, I flushed. Oh, the depositors. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> okay, leaving box. Call someone. Yes. <laughs> well, this was going to be Rena. I dial Rena's number. <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> Hello, Ryu. Hi, Rena. Do you want to hang out sometime? I'd love to. I'm up for some bubble tea. There's of course you are. You're obsessed with bubble tea. <laughs> Let's meet up tomorrow. I'll bring Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, who was it again? Let's... Oh, wait. No, not status. Check email. That's right. Um, that Clear Sky Bank. Let's do some... Let's give him a hand. We need... could use some money anyway. Clear Sky Bank. Database. All right, there we go. I go to bed and fall asleep. Let the match begin. <laughs> I watch the jewel from the royal box overlooking the arena, seated next to my royal mother, the queen. One of the challenges is wielding a double-ended staff, while the other is using a highly tuned wand. Oh, yeah. I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> Both of them are incredibly skilled in magical combat. Oh, that. <laughs> the staff-wielding one twirls her weapon and several white balls of magical light form around her. The wand-wielding one tries to interrupt the other's attack by shooting off a quick spell. It looks like the two of them... Uh, it looks like two of the most well-known champions are facing off in the finals of this particular tournament. Both are around my age and have a vast amount of magical power. This isn't the first time they've clashed in the ring, either. Fortunately, a magical barrier surrounds the combatants so that stray magical shots can't hit anyone else. It's all part of the kingdom's biannual tourney of the White Swan, a double elimination tournament where mages and mage knights duel to claim the title of the greatest magic user in the land. It used to be held so that the oldest daughter of the reigning queen could take part in exhibition matches, but since I'm an only child, it has a much different purpose now. Population control. <laughs> Which is to say, I'll be exhibited too, but in an entirely different manner. <laughs> Damn, it's cold. I wish I could put my trousers on. <laughs> the winner will have her picture taken with me as she kisses my cheek. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could put my trousers back on. <laughs> what cheek? <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain about my role because I've seen firsthand how effective the royal mother's pro policies have been. But even I don't know why she's suddenly so focused on strengthening the country's morale and martial prowess. Yeah. Being part of the monarchy isn't easy. Oh, shame. My heart yes, bleeds I'm, for you. I'm feeling, I'm feeling so sorry for them as well, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. <laughs> My dream stirred something inside of me. Damn, time to change sheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you are you're really off the ball at the moment, Laura, aren't you? What? Oh, 
We've got episode, uh, episodes of you going, afternoon! <laughs> afternoon! <laughs> I arrive at the bubble tea shop on time, but Rena is nowhere to be seen. Again. Hopefully she doesn't keep me waiting quite so long this time. Ten minutes pass without any sign of her dashing my hopes. Waiting is so much more difficult when you don't know how long it'll be. I wish she'd at least text me so I know what to expect. As I'm grumbling to myself, the door bursts open with a loud jangle of bells. Ryan, I'm so, so very sorry. Something came up again. Well, as long as he paid double. <laughs> You're not going to make this a habit, are you? I did that Joe last thing. <laughs> no, I'm really, really sorry. Is it your job? That can't be helped, then. Yeah, it is. I'm so sorry, Ryu. Gee, she's really beating herself up over this. She shouldn't. I know, look That's at my really job. Look at her sad eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going through a pretty rough time, aren't you? Rena nods silently. I'm nodding, just can't uh. <laughs> And you need the money, so there's no reason for you to feel bad. Just... Let's just have a good, a good time now that you're here. I smile kindly, hoping to cheer her up, but it only seems to agitate her more. Girl's got issues, issues. Mm. But I really want to spend time with you. I do. It's just... Issues and only one dress. Just... Oh, I, I mean... I want to spend time with you too, Rena. There's nothing wrong with that. Ellipsis. <laughs> right, um... Well, we should order our drinks. What is going on with us, girl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And while we're doing it, let's discuss your psychological issues. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she'll relax and stop worrying when she gets her mind off this. Fly back in the booth and tell me about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> we order our drinks and find a good table, but Rena's eyes seem to be stuck to anything but me. Damn, I wish I could put my trousers back on. <laughs> That's what you should call this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling guilty is expected, but it's not like her to be so reticent about why she's running late. It seems you've been swamped with work lately. Yeah. Are you on call or something? Uh, something like that. I wish you could have told me. It wouldn't have bothered me to wait if I understood. Sorry, I guess I thought I could handle it. I'm sorry, I had my mouth full at the time. <laughs> Is the modelling industry really so disorganised? <laughs> well, um, yeah, kind of. It's not the kind of modelling where you walk down a runway. Does it pay well? Well, it's better than taking a fast food job, that's for sure. She said that before, hasn't she? Cause no, we, we, we've, we've done this once before. Remember I lost the footage? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's why. I... <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I'm like, she's really cruel to those people who work in that job. <laughs> she's very down on fast food workers. <laughs> no, that's twice she's rubbed that in. Poor person's back and like, what's with the drive-by app? <laughs> the things I hate the most are... Yeah, shop workers and squirrels! Can't stand squirrels, gotta kill squirrels! <laughs> I try to imagine Rena working at a fast food counter and wince. Some customers are just unbelievably rude and spiteful. Like her. <laughs> For someone like Rena who's never uttered an unkind word about anyone in her life. <laughs> apart from shop workers, that would be tough to handle. <laughs> something important. Yeah, I didn't leave him the keys to the handcuffs. I'm so sorry, by the way, but I really, really have to get going right now. Seriously? Would you pay for my tea? Seriously? <laughs> I promise, promise, promise that I'll make it up to you next time. Okay? Before I can even agree, Rena jabs a wad of money into my hand and dashes out through the door. I counted carefully. It's about $320. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for the drinks. <laughs> Rena, wait! It's not enough! <laughs> it's no good. She's already gone. 
With a sigh, I pick up her check and glance <laughs> at the bill she left with me. Oh, there's enough cash here to pick up the tab for the entire restaurant. I guess her job really does pay well. I pay for our drinks and do my best to enjoy them, but by the time I finish, my stomach feels ready to burst. Evening! <laughs> Eventually! <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. Well, that's what I call it anyway. <laughs> you got to get the wand out. <laughs> right, it's Friday, so we can call Claire now. Okay. Shall we? Why not? I dial Claire's number. Ring, 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 ring! Hello, <laughs> yeah. Bless you. <laughs> Hi, Claire. You want to hang out sometime? Do you think? Well, I don't. I wish I could put my trousers back on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the bubble tea shop again with Rena. I'm sure she'd love to come too. <laughs> <clears throat> Must be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, um, if you if you don't mind, we'll do that tonight, okay? Okay. Sure. Work. Finish my bank. Negative. All right. There we go. I get to bed and fall asleep. Morning. Yay. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday. All right. Um. You want to work yeah, a so... bit? Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Work. It doesn't seem to take much time or much of you, so... No. no. Probably will right. once you get higher up, but... Yeah. Another bit. There we go. <laughs> right. Afternoon! I arrive at the bubble tea top at the appointed time, but Claire and Rena are nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Maybe this is one of the signs of the end times. <laughs> they just keep tricking him into ordering bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ryu. Oh, hey. Is Claire with you? No, I haven't seen her yet. There she is. <laughs> hey there, you two. That's because she's standing right behind you. I just like to think that Claire and Rena are getting kickbacks from the bubble tea industry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm glad to see the two of you. And the two of you. And you two people. <laughs> I smile at both of them, rewarded with two warm smiles in return. Let's order our drinks. Today is my treat. <laughs> Rena's paying. <laughs> Someone's unusually generous today. You feeling okay, Rio? I'm a little bit cold around the knees. I wish I could put my trousers back on. <laughs> We order our drinks and find a table. It wasn't hard. <laughs> it's lucky we were all able to make it today. It is. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Simon stealing the wines. Oh. At least I apologise before you told me off. <laughs> it is. And yeah, pot, meat, kettle. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a lucky guy to know two beautiful, intelligent, and determined girls. There they are, they're just coming in. <laughs> no. No. I can't help but laugh at the looks on their faces. <laughs> Laurel, oh <my> God. <laughs> Come on, I can't be the first to tell you that. Well, maybe, but... Is this the... Alright, if it bothers you, I won't do it again. But it's not like you said something wrong. You don't have to not do it again. I mean, you can do it again. <laughs> oh, Alex. If only you could see me now. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> That's random. Why? Because <laughs> Alex is supposed to be the, the guy giving him tips on how to impress a woman. Yeah. He's turned them both into sex dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, though, <laughs> he says, licking his eyebrows. I really miss hanging out together like this. It's such a shame we're all so busy with school and my stripping. 
<laughs> I know that much isn't true for Rena, but I promised I wouldn't tell anyone she has a part-time stripping modeling job right now. Claire, you've been awfully quiet. Is something the matter? Do you need a job? <laughs> yeah, they tried to find me a stripper, but it didn't work out. <laughs> they said they filled the position already. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. I've just had a little, or been a little bit more tired than usual lately. But I had to go work at the dad's strip club. <laughs> the bad one. Where people go for lunch. <laughs> it's just, just a seafood buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and every hour the glitter bomb goes off. <laughs> You know, you're addicted to strip clubs if you go in the morning or the afternoon. <laughs> <sighs> right, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I just, like, just, I just listening to the voice of experience there, isn't it? <laughs> you're not overworking yourself, are you? You know, I know you like to be self-reliant, but no man or woman is an island. You can ask your friends for a little help when you want. That's right. Friendship is a very powerful thing, you know? Okay, so how do you get the smell of brass polish out of your skin? <laughs> <laughs> you actually said that with a straight face? I wish I were as innocent as you. Well, you don't. You just pick a scent and compliments it. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's all make a promise. Okay. To always be there for each other when we need it. Surely that's a given. I can't help but chuckle at the thought. This is the point where she starts drawing a smiley face in her hands. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of silly, but it's cute too. I like it. So do I. I'll do it. Yay! Alright everyone, let's hold hands. Told you. After some hesitation, I finally bring myself to take Claire's and Rena's outstretched hands in my own. They feel soft and warm, though Rena's oddly feels a little calloused. She's been doing more pole work. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I climbed so high! <laughs> Look, no hands! <laughs> Helicopter! Now, repeat after me. Together, the three of us have shared many memories. Together, the three of us have shared many memories. I can hear you. Together, the three of us have shared many memories. Yeah. <laughs> I've forgotten it, sorry. <laughs> As best friends bound by love and trust. As best friends bound by love and trust. I will aid and protect you with all the strength of my heart. I will aid and protect you with all the strength of my heart. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> For you're an irreplaceable part of me I never want to lose. Sorry, who are you again? <laughs> For your irreplaceable part of me that I never want to lose. There, it's done. Thanks, you two. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. We all let go of one another and I can't help but feel that I just took part in some sort of bizarre summoning ritual. <laughs> still, I guess it wasn't too bad. I can still feel the gentle warmth from Rena's and Claire's hands. Just thinking about it makes me wish I could put my trousers back on. I know, I was going to say. <laughs> how long things will stay like this. All of us hanging out and talking over bubble tea and just having fun. Claire, did you forget our promise that fast? Even if we're separated in the future, we'll still be there for each other. You're right, Rena. I laugh a little and shake my head. Oh, hold on a sec, sorry. Um, I can barely hear you, April, so I just want to turn the music down. Oh, okay. Hopefully, that will make things a little bit easier. I laugh and shake my head. 
I sure hope all that hand-holding wasn't just for show. Always. <laughs> we, we chat aimly a little longer before parting ways. Not for very long, though. <laughs> Evening! <laughs> I spent a little time practicing my magic. For once, I'm glad my trousers are off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, last episode, we promised Mystica we, should, we would never go back to the forest again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should we go back to the forest? Uh, get somewhere else. The forest. It's just nice. Yeah, 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 into the forest. Yeah, I'm with that. All right. <sighs> yeah, I can't be bothered to read that one again. No, that one. Explore. She's <laughs> like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, who did Mystica last time? Laura. Oh, no, it was me and it was a French accent. Ah! Hi! Ha ha! Hee hee! Ha ha! You promised me you would never come back here! Ha ha! <laughs> you still sound like Lumiere for Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> the candlestick is amazing. Uh, yes. How would you say uh, Ryu and. Ryu. You. Yep. You. You promised me that you wouldn't come back here. Bleh! I'm sorry. Ryu. I can't complete my mission and protect you at the same time. Yeah, but they don't want to use these scorpion things and they appear to be made out of cardboard. <laughs> Your mission? I am battling the shadows that roam here. Well, so am I. Why don't we team up? We could take them out faster. Absolutely not. Please understand. The monsters here grow stronger by the days that go by. Very soon, they will be too much for you. Yeah, but I think I'll look so good in a magical girl's costume. <laughs> so pretty please with a cherry on top. Stay away from here and let me take care of all the baddies, okay? All the baddies? What is he, five? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have something else important to do? We're on this database thing, I guess. Please, just leave. I had bubble tea in eight hours. <laughs> Before I can blink, Mystica appear disappears in a flash of light. Where did she go? She's nowhere to be seen. Oh. Should I explore further? She's gonna kick your butt if you do. I think I think it's worth pushing our luck. I walk around the forest for a while. I don't see anything except trees and grass. Give it a couple of tries. Can we walk around the forest for a while? Right. Okay. That is well over. But look, we gained time. quite a lot of HP. Yeah, well, we'll be healed. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Laura, she doesn't do many role-playing games. I thought is that I thought that was hit points. <laughs> <laughs> okay then guys. Alright, um uh, so we're gonna leave it there and you know, while Laura tries to get some air back in her lungs. <laughs> so until next time, thank you very much, uh, Laura and April. And if you guys could leave me a like or subscribe, um, just put some money in an envelope and stick it underneath my door or anything like that, it'd be fine. <laughs> so until next time, thank you and good night. Good night. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was hit points. <laughs> no, it's